Hi everybody, what's up? It's Chris, and you're watching Disney Talks! Now let's talk Disney Parks! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris, and if you're new here, welcome. I talk Disney, I talk pop culture, I talk movies, I talk shows, I talk musicals, I talk Barbie, I talk Scooby-Doo, all kinds of fandoms. So subscribe and follow along if you're not. But let's get into the main video. For today, I decided to do a what's in my park bag video. I see these all the time on YouTube for years, and I've always wanted to do one. Um, and now I thought I would do one because... I have some very exciting news. I'm actually going to Disney World! Yes! This will be my third time going to Disney World. Um, and I am going for, of course, it's 50th celebration and coincidentally Halloween time. So my favorite time of year, 50th birthday. Super duper excited. It's been a long time coming. I had to postpone this trip from January to September because of, you know, the world. But we're going. I'm excited. So, I thought I would show you what I'm going to take with me to the parks every day. Um, so, uh, I will start with the bag itself. I'm not sure what bag I'm actually taking yet. Uh, I have a few different options, but uh, this one I think is the most, the strongest contender. Um, this is my Rapunzel Lounge Fly. Um, I haven't used this one in the parks yet. Uh, but I think it would be fitting because they do have like the Rapunzel bathrooms in Magic Kingdom and I just think it would be fitting. It lights up, which I think is pretty awesome. And it's big enough to fit all the stuff that I'm going to bring in it. So I'm leaning towards this one, but my other option of bringing is, one second, my other option is my Atlantis one, which I have not used as well yet. I just got this one over COVID as well. Um, so this is my other option. I love it. Um, it is a bit smaller compared to this one. I can always bring this one to Disneyland, but I can always bring this one to Disneyland too. But yeah, I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you think. Okay. Um, I'll put this back up here. Um, I'll have to do like a lounge fly video too because I love my lounge flies and showing them off and I have a few more in mind that I'm planning on collecting. But um, anyways, yeah. So for the purpose of this video, I will be using the Rapunzel one. So let's get started. So for the first thing, like they have like a little pouch in here. Um, I just keep like feminine hygiene products, hair elastic, um, band-aids of course, because you never know if you get a blister, random cut, it's good to have. I don't necessarily bring like Advil or anything like that just because I don't use it. Um, it would be good to have on me, like for friends or family that might need it, but I don't have it here, so I just bring, I usually just bring band-aids. Um, for the second thing I will bring is obviously just a mask, in case. Um, I believe they lifted the restrictions, if I'm not mistaken. I know they went back to having them on inside, but I'm, I'm, is that done now? I'm pretty sure. But I will bring a couple masks, just in case, you know. Anything happens, you don't want it to to affect your trip. You want to have it on hand. Um, next is obviously a lifesaver, which is a portable charger. This one I just got from Walmart for forty dollars. Um, it charges two phone, two and three quarters of a phone charge, so it's good for me and a friend, and like a little bit. Which my phone, it should last till the night and maybe I'll plug it in for a bit just to get it up for the fireworks or whatever but the heat always drains it so much faster than it does at home so it's good to have these on hand um, and so that's why that goes in the bag of course um, next is of course hand sanitizer because we are in scary times and we need to stay healthy this one is actually not the one I'm bringing um, but it was just here in my supply I have like a whole box of travel essential stuff and um, this one was in here but I'm actually bringing a smaller skinnier Trader Joe's um, plastic spray hand sanitizer and lavender but yeah this is just the one I had on hand but you get the idea um, next I am bringing oh obviously a water bottle 
Um, I used to ask for cups of water, but sometimes it gets kind of difficult to find like where you are in the parks. Um, it's kind of hard to find like a, a, a place to ask for water. What park was it that was I found challenging? Was it Animal Kingdom? I don't know. I was somewhere and I was like, oh, go for water. But sometimes it's kind of inconvenient to leave where you are just to go find for water. So got a Brita filter. It obviously has the filter in there, which will last, I think they say like four or five months or something. Um, so that will be good. And I'll just fill it up with ice when I leave the hotel and then periodically throughout the day. So that goes in the bag as well. And it fits quite nicely. And it's like the perfect height for this bag. So that's good. Um, next I will be wearing obviously my wallet. Again, this is a different wallet. I have a, a little bit of a, a, sl a little slimmer wallet. Um, but it's the same idea as this one that I bring to the parks with my money and gift cards and cards, everything of that sort. Um, next I will be bringing, this might look kind of weird, but it is my boba straw for the Night Blossom drink because we know that paper straws, while they save the environment, they're not my favorite to drink out of. So I got this one from Night Blossom. And then this one, it can I can clip this on to anything, but I just have it in the bag with the other one. It's just the normal straw with the, the brush on the inside, so. But I just have it kept in here to keep it together. Um, and then obviously it's in a plastic bag because you know when you're getting in line for flight of passage you don't have time to go and rinse this off and have it clean so and I don't want to throw it in my bag and get it all sticky so it goes in a plastic bag um, and before you get to the final thing um, of course obviously my phone is in the bag that's just a given and also my camera which I can't show you right now because I am filming on it but my camera also fits nicely into the bag I tested it before and it all fits in here and in that one so this one has a little bit more give than that one but still it still fits so that's that so um, as you can see my bag is very like minimal I don't I try not to bring more stuff than I need like just the essentials um, sometimes I'll have like a little mini deodorant in it with like the personal care items but other than that like I try to keep it very very minimal I have a little um, ear holder that clips on the outside that my ears are safely secured on so I don't have to put them in the bag which saves room and is nice. Um, I don't have it on this bag, it's currently on another one because I took it to Disneyland, but it goes on here, it saves me a lot of room, very nice. Um, so for this time I actually saw, I have something different. I have um, this book that I saw a woman do and I thought it was such a great idea uh, over on TikTok, I don't remember her name, but she got this book. Um, everything I need to know I learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. And if you know these little golden books, they have like the iconic spine. Um, and what she did is she got it autographed by the characters and I absolutely fell in love with that, that idea. Um, so I ordered this book over COVID. I think this was like early COVID I got this and I was like, I'm going to do that next time I go, I will bring it. So I did. Um, I got it and I'm going to bring it. Uh, I have everything annotated in here and then the color coded so each park magic kingdom epcot animal kingdom and hollywood studios is all annotated in where the characters would be meeting uh, i'm not going to get this signed all of it at this time at disney world because that's just way too much and i am just going to try and live in the moment while i'm there but i have it annotated just in case like certain characters like i know genie is there for the mickey's not so scary so i'd like to get his autograph because he is a little bit harder to find at disneyland um, so, you know, I'll get like a few that I can, but I'm not going to get all of them, but I have them for future use for when I go to Disney World again, Disneyland again, whatnot. So it's adorable. I will show you a couple of the pages. Um, so like this is Cinderella and Fairy Godmother, um, Mike and Sully. As you can see, there's just a whole bunch of characters in here that I absolutely love and all annotated and whatnot for the characters needed. In here um, is a black sharpie and a silver sharpie because some of the pictures silver would turn out better so that's why it's in here and it will all be protected in a ziploc bag because you know drippage from the water 
wear and tear of the bag because we know by the end of the park day the bags are usually usually pretty uh mine anyways i have to clean it out there's trash a few random little things i have to straighten it out a little bit but i'm a very organized person i guess so that could be why uh, and it all fits perfect in a little package and i love it which is why i think i might break this one but we shall see um yeah but that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for 326 subscribers, I think. That is insane to me. Um, I know a lot of them came from the Marvel Cinematic Universe Hall of Fame video I did. And that's so amazing because I love that video. And I love the live action Hall of Fame. And I love the original. And I love the Star Wars one. So check them out. Um, and check out my Instagram because that's where I will be posting about my trip in the upcoming fall. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Next month I have either a horror movie, horror villain video coming, or a Halloween tag. I haven't quite decided yet, but it's going to be spooky season. It's my favorite season. I would like to upload two videos, but it'll probably just be one. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much. And have a magical day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! also forgot to mention that I'm going to be bringing this one to Universal. It's my Scooby-Doo one. I just thought I'd mention that because it's super cute and I haven't used it yet either. <laughs> I just got it. It was just pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it in December and it just came like a couple months ago. So I'm going to bring this one to Universal. Okay, bye. Same stuff. Same stuff. <laughs>